Hello, this is John Knutson. In this short demo, I'm going to show you some of the new features in the Kix Performance Analyzer version 3.2 plugin for the Kix Explorer. Let's start over here. In the uh, this is the records view. This is where all the data comes from. In our past releases, we supported the performance summary records, and that was the only records we supported. Now we've added all of the kick statistics records, and so we've needed to have a, a new table selector dialog where you can still see the performance summary, but you can see a lot of other information as well for different sorts of statistics records. For transactions, for example, we see transactions, transaction classes, and request models. And what you see in parentheses and in brackets after the uh, statistics type is the data range um, showing what data is available and when that data is valid. In this case, from uh, June 2009 to uh, just a couple of days ago in November. If, I've, um, if I select this option here, what happens is all of the options where data isn't available are hidden. So you uh, you don't get um, overwhelmed with data for with with data for statistics types that you aren't collecting in kicks. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna start by just looking at um, the performance summary data. Um, here I see a list of Apple IDs um, for which data is available. Um, I need to select one of these in order to see some of that data in this performance, or what was called a spreadsheet tab. Whatever you select here, or here, or here, will be shown in this first tab on the left. It has a special meaning, this first tab. What you can do is you can say, well, when do you want to see the data from? Do you want to see it, uh, say, going back into 2009? You can go back here like this. Um, or you can say things like, I want to see yesterday's data. Oh, I don't have any data yesterday. What about last week's data? Yeah, I've got it all here. So again, I can do what I did used to be able to do before, either control select to be able to select multiple regions now there's 26 rows, now there's 66 rows, or I can do things like shift select and I can select all the data, 141 rows. The options that you used to be able to do here, for example, to sort by the task termination count, so you see the large, um, the most popular transactions to be able to do things like do a performance history and see a detail breakdown. Um, that capability is still around. What else you can do though is you can do things like um, select a record and then come over here to this new reports view and say well I'd like to see uh, a CPU time graph for for that, for that one instance um, or a pie chart or a timeline so these are the options that you used to be able to do before. Um, implicitly, now you can actually run them explicitly. Something else you can do, instead of doing a run, is you can do a run using. So you, this gives you a little more scope. You can say, well, I'm not really interested in the date. I want to see all the records that I had. And now here you see them all um, with their use counts for the different time periods. So we can talk about some more of these, uh, these capabilities later.